then doctor, and uh, I go to Centennial High School. I uh, lived in Massachusetts for 11 years prior to moving to um, New Mexico. Some of my early memories of art um, uh, usually started with cartoons. Um, I would steal printer paper and you know, draw on anything I could get my hands on. What captivated me about art um, was the imagination that was sort of put into it, and I really appreciated that, I guess, um, that uh, people were able to uh, put their ideas on canvas and without um, photography, and I thought that was a really interesting concept. There's a lot of uh, experienced digital artists uh, they'll sometimes, they'll, a lot of times actually, they'll have uh, tutorials online, uh, especially on social media sites, that will um, show you techniques for digital art too, because you know, a lot of, it's hard to get advice for that sort of thing, and you have to develop your own style digitally, which is even harder than developing a style um, traditionally. The calmness of New Mexico is probably one of the most incredible scenes I've ever seen. The atmosphere gives a nice touch to, you know, my life here and sort of influences my art that way. And I've visited um, uh, Santa Fe and the markets they have there for art are incredible. And I went to the um, art festival here. The different types of art that I saw there was really incredible. The diversity of the people and the um, the different types of art. I saw sculpture and acrylic and pottery. It was really, and photography too. And it was really incredible to see that. There's a digital artist who um, definitely influences me in many ways. Uh, she illustrates a really good webcomic that's pretty popular. It's called Ava's Demon, and um, the comic, the art itself is beautiful. And um, her style is amazing. It's the colors that she uses have really stark contrasts, and she has really amazing landscapes that she uses for her, her backdrops for her characters too. She kind of motivates me to maybe I could do that. You know, maybe I could create a graphic novel similar to that. Because she's a freelance artist herself. One of the things you can do is if you see an artist um, drawing by themselves outside um, on the street. If you happen to come upon someone painting, talk to them, you know, inquire about their art, uh, point out a, a certain part you like about it, because that's really flattering and in return they'll probably give you advice. When people, you know, ask um, for my art or compliment it, I'm very flattered. It's, it's something I, I strive for as an artist. At the very least, it's um, my hobby. It's uh, something that keeps me motivated. Um, I really do see it taking me to a career, but you know, I'm only a high schooler. I don't, I don't know what's, what my future holds.